In this video, I'm going to provide some important reminders for students getting ready to start the medical assisting program in the evening and weekend cohort. So as a reminder, uh, to complete the certificate program, it takes approximately 10 months. Um, you'll spend two full semesters in classes and then have a final term where you do the externship. Once you finish those 10 months, you're eligible to test for your certification. In the evening and weekend program, the classes meet Tuesday and Thursday from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m and also Saturday from 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. You'll be taking two courses at a time for eight weeks. As soon as those two courses end, the very next week, the next two courses start. There's a total of eight courses that you take before you start your externship. During the externship, you're expected to be available 32 to 40 hours per week for four to five weeks in order to accumulate the required 160 hours of externship. There are no exceptions to this, and we do not have night and weekend externships. Externships take place during the day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. For any students who may be taking other college courses outside of the medical assisting program, you will not be able to complete the program if you're not available to do the externship when it comes time for that. A few additional policies, and we talk about this in orientation, students can only miss a maximum of three days in an eight week term, regardless of the reason. So even if illness requires you to miss more than three days, you would need to withdraw from the program and come back at a later date. This requirement is tied to the necessity to get your hours in in order to test for certification. We've had students in the past that were either taking additional college courses or attending another college or university at the same time. We do not make any exceptions to anything in this program because of that situation. If you are taking classes at another college and a test date coincides with ours, we do not make accommodations for that test date. You must be present on our course calendar for all classes and test. Finally, students must attend a mandatory orientation in order to start the program. That typically takes place a week before classes start. When you complete this program, you're eligible for four different certifications. A few things that you must complete prior to the start of class. You will need to get your active CPR card. You will need to complete the background check form and you will also need to submit all of the required immunizations. Insurance is not needed to start class. It will be needed later, right before the externship. Also, a drug test is not needed right away. It will be required about a month before the externship. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and thank you very much.